Okay, so training is done. Well, almost done. I've done all my strength movements, including my ring muscle ups, and I was fucking happy. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I managed, I managed 15 kilogram ring muscle up with the ball between my legs. So, yeehaw, times like a thousand. I was fucking happy with that. I mean, it was grindy and ugly and i didn't know if i would get it in the transition i was just like holding on for dear life just trying to keep the rings in whilst i did it it's over here somewhere i'll put it somewhere there um but yeah i was fucking happy now i'm 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 doing my ring work accessories and levers accessories and i'm working on my grip as you might know so i've decided to do levers with less fingers um it's interesting because it activates slightly different in the back so i can't activate the scapula as i would with a full hold it's interesting so i'm playing around with it, trying to activate my back as much as I possibly can. I'm presuming because there's less fingers involved, less muscles are being activated, obviously, in the forearm, which probably translates into the back. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know. Someone who's, who's biomechanically studied. <laughs> Answer my question. Why would I activate my back less if I'm using less fingers? Interesting question. I'm sure someone knows. Someone smarter than me. Anyway, so I'm doing front levers with two fingers. So we're going to do one more set. I've done, I always do three sets of everything with the calisthenics. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's what I've been doing. So I, this is my last set of two fingered levers. So let's give it a go. Right. So remember, lever, keep, keep, keep this hollow hold position. Really um, tighten your glutes, um, and then okay. So two fingers, and then we go. So my, I felt like my bum might have been a little bit low on that, but it is my third set, and I am supersetting it with my ring. Uh, crucifix drills. So we're going to move over here because I'm all over the fucking place in the gym today. Okay. So I'm supersetting the levers with the crucifix, uh, practice. I don't know if this is right or wrong or anything, but I saw a gymnast doing this. So essentially I've got an elastic band, which I loop around my bum, my tiny little bum bum. And it kind of holds, helps to hold me up. And then obviously I go into the crucifix hold for as long as I possibly can. So I started with the red band and I did three sets with the red band. And now I'm doing three sets with the black band. Um, so this is, I don't know. I think this is my third set. I have to check my book. So I put my bum underneath and scoot it into position like this. Okay, now you need a false grip. Again, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so please take this with a huge grain of salt. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, so <laughs> whether it's right or wrong, who knows? Someone does, someone comment, and probably going to be chastised for doing this completely wrong and putting it on the internet. But, okay, so... <sighs> So that's my drills for the crucifix. I hadn't planned on doing the crucifix. I hadn't planned on doing the crucifix um, training because I thought it would be too difficult. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm managing okay so far. Like I didn't expect to be able to get into full into the full crucifix. I am in the L set, which I'm presuming is an easier position than straight legged. Um, and it's definitely a lot harder with the red band than obviously the black band. The black band will give me more assistance, as it were. So I start with the hardest band, the red band. 
and I just go out, hold it for as long as I possibly can, and then come back in. And then the black band, I can manage two reps. So that is what I'm doing towards the crucifix. Again, I don't know if it's right or wrong. I saw someone do it and I was like, oh, let me try it. Um, and I can do it. So I'm just working on that as part of my training because I'm just, I'm just having fun at this point in time. My main focus is the power lifting. And as long as I don't do anything too stupid and injure myself with the calisthenic, I'm just, I'm just having fun because I feel like for so long, I've been so fixated on one particular thing that I almost get to the point where I no longer enjoy training. I'm like so in the hole, you know, in this little fucking bubble where all I think about and, and I'm literally eating, sleeping, breathing my goal. Don't get me wrong. I'm still eating, breathing, sleeping my goal, which is powerlifting. But I need something a little bit more just to, to keep my heart bubbly and happy and excited and these things like whether they're right or wrong like I'm enjoying the training and I think that's so important you need things that excite you and make you happy and and just make you want to get out of bed and go fuck I got this today it's gonna be a badass fucking day let's like kick ass have some goals keep on smashing them and make sure that no matter what you got things that excite you and spark that little bubble of fire inside of you that makes you go you know I've got purpose and I saw something interesting I'm almost done I'm almost done I promise I saw something interesting and a person said you don't enjoy the destination if, if, if everything is handed to you and you just land at the destination, you never appreciate it. You never enjoy the destination. And that's why, you know, if everything's handed to you on a silver platter, you often end up with depression and you, 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 you can't appreciate it. Whereas what you can appreciate is the journey of getting somewhere. And the truth is in life, your journey, your destination will always change. Your goals will always change. You know, life has a way of making things change and progress. And, you know, who I was 10 years ago and who I am today and what my goals were five years ago is not the same as what they are today. And that's exciting because I'm constantly adapting and changing and enjoying the process and that's what you need today to do you need to enjoy the process whatever it is stop fixating on the one day start enjoying today because that's what you've got you've got the here you've got the now so you need to enjoy it okay enjoy the process enjoy the little rewards that come with the process because if you don't enjoy the little rewards you know whether it's losing weight or getting a promotion or whatever it is in life if you don't enjoy the little rewards because you're so fixated on the one day you you will never be happy and that will make you even more depressed and then you end up in the cycle vicious cycle of you know never feeling like you're you're getting anywhere even though you are you know and that was my problem with bodybuilding was I was so fixated on the one day that I could never see all the progress that I'd made over the years and all the changes that my body had made and my strengths and everything. I was so fixated on, on the one day that I wasn't like, holy shit, you know, like I've gone from having cancer, being underweight to putting on some muscle and getting stronger and ending an abusive relationship and overcoming so many little things. I was so fixated on one day that I couldn't embrace today. And that's my mind changing as I've gotten older. It's like, I've got to fucking embrace today. So embrace today. Be your best today. Yeehaw. I hope you have an amazing evening, morning, night, whatever the time is. You are awesome. Keep kicking your ass and let's keep going, baby. Goals. Goals to grow.